Welcome back with the first day of spring right around the corner, I promise. It seems like a great time to try out a new look when it comes to our hair. Here with her favorite trends for spring 2022 is our favorite person, stylist Janet Jackson. Welcome, Janet. Hi, ladies. Janet, it's so nice to see you again. And I, I feel like so many of us are just itching for spring. And it's a great opportunity for us to give ourselves a bit of a refresh when it comes to our hairstyle. So are there any big themes or trends that you're seeing uh, for the upcoming season? We certainly are. We're seeing a lot of the 90s and early 2000s. That vibe is coming back as a trend. We're seeing it in hair, makeup, clothing. <clears throat> and so I'm going to show you three looks today that will definitely fall into that aesthetic. Oh, goody. We're going to start with the first style you have for us today, and that's the elevated pony. This look is so much fun, and we've seen it on Sydney Sweeney in the hit show Euphoria, of course, and it was trending in the streetwear scene all over fashion weeks all around the world. I love it. But how can we achieve this look at home? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I just want to mention that the simple ponytail has become so popular. We're seeing it super chic, as you mentioned, and even some of them red carpet worthy. But this elevated ponytail that I'm going to show you is going to do the trick for, for spring. So the key to the perfect ponytail is doing it in sections. Okay. And so I've already created a beautiful texture at the ends of this hair, and I've smoothed the two areas with pomade and a brush okay. into two sections. So with this first section, I've secured it with an elastic band, but what I'm now gonna do is pull it up a bit, create a hole in the middle, right? Just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna loop the ends of the first section right through, Whoa. just like so. Yep. Okay, we have that hole. Now we're going to grab the bottom ponytail ah. through that hole. And we are going to tighten it and just let it fall just <gasps> like that. This is the first time I'm seeing this. I this is... love this. It's kind of a waterfall effect, yes. sort of retro and modern all at the same time. Love it, Janet. Love it, Janet. It's really cool. And if we want to take this to the next level, what I suggest is going in at the root using a wide tooth comb like this. Give it a good tease at the base, just like that. Fluff it up a bit. Yeah. Use a little bit texture spray. Oh. And there you go. We've taken this elevated ponytail to the next level. Gorgeous. I mean, Jan, I have to say uh, that tool you just used is something that's essential because often when people ask me about my hair when I've had it done at work, it is that back combing that's been done. So that is amazing. But is there another specific type of brush that we should be using to get that really smooth finish that you showed? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love using this here, which is a bore brush. And the bristles is what helps to create that nice smooth effect. So using a little bit of pomade or gel, anything that your texture desires, using this brush and basically smoothing it will create a nice, simple, smooth look. Okay, great. You know, that model that in front of you and the photos we saw earlier showed those sort of tendrils that were kind of falling in front of the pony. Yes. I feel like that is a surprising trend. Is it a big trend we're going to see coming back? It's a huge trend, but you definitely want to have fun with it. I included it here with my ponytail so that it just brings another interesting element to that look. Love it. So we have to talk about one of the biggest trends of the year, and that's showing off those baby hairs, especially with a slicked back pony. We saw them at New York Fashion Week and some different variations on It Girl's Alexa Demi and Yara Shahidi. So how can someone get this look and what type of comb is used to style? Okay, so you'll need one of these here, which is called a edge brush comb. And what this does is it gives you the, it helps you to control the hair and creating those, those loops and designs. So this here is the key to creating that look. Okay, do, do the baby hairs have to be a certain length for this? Yes, so the shorter the hair, the better. It, the, when it's short, it gives you more moving room. You can manipulate it in a way that you'd like. Um, but we do see the baby hairs longer. We see a lot of that more on runways, ah. editorial campaigns, and longer hair tends to be used in a really creative and high fashion way. Ooh, speaking of high fashion, the next trend, braids. They're showing up on yes. spring runways around the world. This beautiful natural look at Proenza Schuler and on Gigi Hadid with some face framing braids at Altuzara. 
So you're doing boxed braids today. So first of all, can everyone wear braids in, in different variations? Absolutely. Braids can be worn in so many different ways, lengths, sizes. You can do one braid, you can do two braid. There's really no rule. Again, have fun with these trends. What I've done here is I have multiple braids, but they're still pretty big and pretty thick. How you create this look is you create little squares with um, elastic bands. You're going to use pomade to kind of pull that together. Then you're going to take what is called pre-stretched hair extensions, which is perfect for this look because at the ends, it looks a lot more natural than your regular braids. So with this here, I'm going to attach it to the section. Make sure that you've add pomade to the ends of your hair. And that's so that the hair sticks to the braided extensions that we're braiding in. Uh -huh. And you're going to grab that section and you're going to start braiding. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Yes. And this is, it just seems like you're doing it just a simple braid. You go all the way that down. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And then there you go. Very simple, easy to do, and easy to remove as well. Beautiful. Mm. I mean, today I decided to rock a sort of classic 90s look with these PC braids just sort of scattered throughout my hair. Um, and do you feel like the trend is kind of just having as much as fun as possible with braids? Absolutely. All about having fun. As I mentioned before, there's no right or wrong. Just do you, have fun. So Janet, this next trend is truly a 2000s throwback and I can't believe it's trending again. Versace sent down models down the runway in half up, half down looks. So this look has been updated for 2022 and in fact, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, Quite it nice. looks great. I had a little yes, help. it is. I had a little help, but how do we do this at home <laughs> if I wanna recreate this? It is so simple. We got to remember that a lot of these trends are being recycled. We've seen them before. And what makes this really different is the fact that you're going to keep it nice and clean. I've straightened the hair and I've simply taken a rectangular section, square, whatever suits your face type, mm -hmm. and secured it with an elastic band and kept it really tight to the hair. So it's about keeping it sleek, tight, and that's what keeps it very modern. It's, mm. It looks great. It looks like great on Jess as well. Um, that reminds me, though, of that trend that, you, you know, I think everyone did this. You had, like, a little bit back, and you would put, like, a little barrette. Yes. So are there any <laughs> must-have accessories for this season? Absolutely. Accessories are so great. This trend is huge. We're seeing bandanas, micro, or sorry, monochrome clips, <gasps> and also crystals as well. These are so important in terms of making your hair statement a little bit more and creating a statement for spring. Oh my gosh, Janet, this was so much fun. I feel excited for spring and to try some of these things out. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, ladies.